Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to convert your Sense based HTC One to a Google Play Edition HTC One. This works only with the GSM versions of the HTC One. It does not work with CDMA based phones. So there are a few prerequisites. The first one is that your bootloader needs to be unlocked. Uh, number two is that you need to have S off. And number three, your model ID should be one of these. All right. So in case you haven't unlocked your bootloader from the prerequisite section in the description link one will take you to my tutorial on how to unlock your bootloader. Uh, if you have done that, if you don't have S off, li clicking on link two from the prerequisite section will take you to this page on XDA developers forums and you can gain S off from here. And link three is in case your model ID does not match one of these. In which case, this is the thread you need to check out. All right, it's pretty simple. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So let me show you how to, uh, I will be showing you how to check your model ID uh, anyway. So, all right guys, so the first thing you do is hit on link one from the download section in the description. That will get you Android SDK Slim.zip. Link two will get you HTC driver. Link three will get you the Google Play Edition ROM. So in this tutorial, I'll be using Google Play Edition uh, Android version 4.4, but the link link three in the download section in the description will take you to 4.4.2, the latest version. The reason why I'm using 4.4 in this video is so that I can assure you guys, I can show you that uh, over the air updates work. I will show you at the end of this tutorial that uh, my phone gives me a notification saying 4.4.2 available. All right. Uh, when you download 4.4.2, it's the exact same steps that you need to follow. Just you will be using a different zip file instead of this. So don't worry about that. So once you've downloaded these three files, first off, go ahead, install HTC driver, and then right click on Android SDK, slim extract here, and now cut this file, paste it inside. All right, so now let's quickly switch on over to the HTC one. So guys, before you do anything, make sure you back up your apps and data. So on your HTC One, quickly go into Settings, Power, and over here, make sure that Fast Boot isn't checked. All right. So once you've checked that, go ahead, turn off your HTC One. I'm sorry. Hold Power, hit Power off. So once it's off, hold down Volume and Power. This will take it to your bootloader. All right, so now plug your HTC One into PC with a micro USB cable and hit power once again to select fast boot. So guys, right now moving back to the PC, hold shift, right click, select open command window here. So over here, type in fast boot devices. And as long as you you have your driver set up right, this will show. If it doesn't show up, if it just returns, it means you're having driver issues. So go ahead, reboot your PC, reinstall the drivers, reboot back up, and uh, try it again. So guys, right now, type in fast boot, get there, MID. So this is your model ID. This needs to correspond uh, with one of these. If it doesn't, like I said, hit link three from the prerequisite section in the uh, in the description. Get to this thread and change your model ID. So now, let's type in fastboot. Get there. CID this time. So I have super CID. That's all ones. You might have something different. So guys, uh, if you have one of these CIDs, you're good to go. Uh, if not, I would highly suggest you to flash this Super CID because wh what Super CID does is it lets you flash any RUU. If you're not aware of what an RUU is, it is what helps you to get back to stock. If you want to get back to uh, sense at any point of time, you're going to have to flash an RUU. And in that case, this is the best option for you. So, so guys, right now, let me show you how to change the CID. So type in fastboot. Uh, OEM write CID space uh, G O O G underscore zero zero one. So 
now just to show you guys fast boot reboot hyphen bootloader so your phone will flash now if come back to the same screen once your phone's back to the same screen and you hear windows detected quickly okay uh, yeah type in fast boot get fair cid so now as you can see my cid says gog underscore 001 so let, let me change it back to super cid so for super cid you type in fast boot oem write cid and eight ones one two three four five six seven eight hit enter okay it it would say input cid is super cid in this case so now again select arrow key scroll let you scroll through uh, the, the last few commands that you've typed so uh, fast boot reboot boot order again your phone will flash come back to the same screen once it's back let's uh, again try fast boot get fair cid so as you can see my cid is now uh, super cid that's uh, eight ones so the next thing you do is uh, you've got the RUU file here that you've downloaded type in fastboot OEM reboot and in caps RUU so now if your phone will go dark and you will see an HTC logo just an HTC logo on your phone so once you see that type in fastboot flash zip caps RUU and hit tab and that will select your file name the file over here so now hit enter so this will flash google play edition kitkat onto your htc1 so guys you might run into an error like this if you see this error all you need to do is just press up arrow select the last command hit enter again so this time it will go ahead and flash everything it will take about five minutes i'll be back with you once it's done so all right guys we are done uh once you once it says okay finished your phone will still remain at the htc logo so over here just type in fast boot reboot hit enter so your phone will now boot up and uh, it will boot up into stock android all right guys we're up so let me quickly run through setup so there you go the google play edition kitkat is now running on the htc one if you want the nexus 5 kind of launcher i've got a video for that as well i'll leave a link to that right below the like button you can get the nexus 5 experience with that so going into settings quickly going down okay guys at this point you would be seeing android 4.4.2 or the latest version uh, but I've got android 4.4 just to show you guys that we can we will get system updates so going into system updates that you see android 4.4.2 has been detected and it's already downloading it so this is exactly the way the Google Play Edition works so as of right now there is no difference between this phone and a Google Play Edition HTC one so in case you guys want to go back to the sense edition I will have a video for that as well I'll leave a link to that right below the like button too so I guess that pretty much wraps up this tutorial hope you guys found it useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so once again thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon on the next one Till then, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.